How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Trailmakers Creations. The first creation we're going to be starting with here is a suggestion from a viewer that was from a video game. This game is called Snow Runner. Uh, it's like a heavy vehicle off road challenge kind of terrain driving game. I'll leave a link for it down in the description down below if you're interested in checking it out. It looks like a pretty cool game if you're into heavy vehicles. Uh, this is one of the vehicles that's in the game. This is the Azov 5319. Now, these vehicles have numerous configurations. Some have boxes in the back, some are flat decks, some have machinery in the back. All kinds of different configurations. They look kind of like heavy equipment for carrying stuff in uh, remote locations and stuff, right? Uh, a lot of them look Russian or uh, Eastern European. So I don't know if there's anything equivalent to these in the States. Uh, Caterpillar or heavy companies like that probably make uh, things like this as well. So this is a double seater. I did take a little bit of artistic license in uh, when I built it, but it looks fairly similar to uh, to that thing down there, right there. See, it's very close to that. Uh, so again, double seats, we can jump in. It actually has really good first person camera. You can actually see really well. But of course, you can't see the vehicle from in there. So the steering is in the rear. So the whole front section of the double of the four wheels in the front actually turn for the steering. This wasn't a, it's not a very fast vehicle. It's more known just for torque and power. So this has mostly uh, bulldog engines in it with a couple of dragon engines just for a little bit of speed because I mean, ain't nobody got time for that, right? <laughs> so. The one difference that I did do with this, the modification I did make, is that this one is aquatic, can float, um, can't go underwater, but it can float, so it can transport stuff across the water. Uh, the original Azov, I do not believe, is, is aquatic. A little bit too heavy, a little bit too heavy for that. So yeah, we also have suspension on a servo there, so that the trailer and the cab can rotate independently. That's just a weak servo set to like a 10 strength with no controls on it. So yeah, that, uh, and we got a tailgate that drops down with number one. It's got a couple of water propellers on it as well. We can use those when we go in the water, that increases our speed. So we can get going on the land up to about 60. We hit the up arrow to fill our pontoons. And we can just drive right into the water, keep using WASD. Steering's a little funny, wants to flip over as long as you steer slowly, it's not too bad. We can drop the tailgate, it gives a little bit more speed in the water. And again, our nice front end slope gives us the ability to just drive right out. It's not too bad on uh, all-terrain as well, like the original vehicle. But the heavier I make it, the suspension just wants to collapse, so even on maximum strength. So unfortunately, it can't make it much heavier. So I think having more weight on it would actually give it more realistic behavior rather than wanting to flip over and such. You could put heavy weights underneath and it wouldn't flip over. But yeah, that is the Azov 5319. Don't, don't flip over, don't flip over. Are we, are we missing something? Did we lose some pontoons? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Back to shore, back to shore, SOS! SOS! Alright, the next build we're going to be taking a look at hopefully uh, is a water build as well, and hopefully it uh, pans out a little better than this. So let's head out to the water there and uh, we'll try and piece it together. Alright, so this boat here, this is actually the front third. So this is a three piece mega ship. But it's actually a sailing ship. It does have power, but it's got sails on it. I have never been able to put it together, I've only tried once and I couldn't do it because of the wind on the high seas. So in this video I'm going to put it together in here for you to show you what it looks like when it's together. And then we're going to go to the high seas and we're going to attempt to put this together. Now the trick with these is, again designed for the high seas, which is why it's ironic that I can't get it to go together in the high seas, is that they have this anchor underneath. See if I hit O, it'll lift those propellers up out of the water. And then there's nothing stopping me from drifting or driving. Now the front section doesn't have any power in it because I don't need it to have any power in it. The middle section has all the power and the sails. It's so good to be the middle. Uh, so this, the anchor is basically there to stop me from drifting around when I spawn it in. 
and try and spot in the other two parts of the creation and try and connect them all together. So it's not just drifting away towards the vortex in the wind, as things tend to do on the high seas. So we build that section in, and we build the middle section in. Now here's the middle section. It's got the sail, but the middle section does not have an anchor. So, but the middle section's got all the power, so we can actually maneuver around. So the first thing we want to do is close up the sails, especially when we get to the high seas. Now, docking, we have two pins out the front here, as you can see, and we got two slots on the front section with magnets in them. So as long as we're lined up this way, they should just slide together like such. Now I've got to go to the front, this one, this seat, and hit period, and that turns on the magnets. Um, yep, see the anchor is on. So I can jump out of that seat and I can see our boat is not moving even though we were drifting forward. So that is the middle section. Now of course the middle section doesn't have a deck on it because the sails are there. So the sails can be controlled with Q and E. They can be rotated. One and two unfurls them, opens and closes them. So it's going to be really interesting to see if I can catch enough wind to actually sail with this giant ship. Alright, so let's build in the rear section now. Alright, and the rear section has an anchor as well, so we're going to lift that anchor so we can actually move around. And we're going to spin this away. Now you can see how this could take a little bit of time on the high seas while these the wind is trying to blow your parts around. Okay, so we want to go a little bit this way, back up a wee bit. Lock this, and then come together this way, and once we get the back attached, that's all good, that's all good, nice and easy, nice and easy, oh, oh, hey, hey, hey man, million dollar ship man, mate. so right like that, and then we jump down here, hit period, we are now locked. So all three sections are now locked together, and we can turn, okay, that anchor is off, the front anchor I believe is still on, so we want to remove, oh, see that's what you don't want to do, you don't want to break a sail, because now I can't just rebuild the middle, man, I'm telling you man, okay, so we turn the anchor off with O, that should lift up out the water, go down here without breaking things and now we have a ship Ooh, it's just eating the frames the middle section is almost a maximum complexity the front and the back are both at just over 600 so I wanted to try and get as close as I could with all the sections which is why there's no fancy stuff on the boat no real detail other than the sail and the components that it takes to keep them together so this is probably the biggest ship I've ever built. Put our sails out, but that just slows us down. So this is going to be real interesting to see how this functions on the high seas. If I can actually sail with this sail, is it going to even be anywhere near big enough to push me? To push this thing. I mean, it's fairly aerodynamic. It's got some stabilization with the fins underneath there. I have no idea what to name this thing. It's going to be like the Ark. The Ark 2. The Sail Ark. I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you got a good name for this thing. And then I'll upload it with that name. I'll let you know what I've named it and I'll upload it. But let's try and take it into the high seas because that's where the challenge is going to be. Let's see if we can get it in one piece where there's waves. Alright. Let's do it. Alright. Here we go. Let's give this a go, shall we? First piece is the front. Anchor is down and working hard. Okay, front is in. We don't want to be too far here. We don't want to be too long either. Let's build in the middle. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Get away, get away, get away. Okay, sails down. Thank you. All right, spin it around. See, it's a good thing I got that anchor on that front section, but it even wants to see it's turning into the wind. 
which is okay. That's all right, as long as you don't go drifting away. So let's get this. See, this is where it starts getting complicated. It's once I connect this, it's going to be a lot heavier, and there's going to be things sticking up in the air. So getting the rear end. Okay, so like that, and then get to the front, get to the front, get to the front, run, 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 and period. Okay, see it even still drifting, even with the anchor on. All right, let's try and catch this. Oh no, spin around, spin around. Okay, let's lift our anchor. So then at least we have some, see the wind keeps pushing me. I'm trying to spin around. Where's the anchor, is the anchor up? Okay, spin it around, spin it around. Let's get over here by the dock. Hey, don't take my boat away, man. See if that thing spins around, we'll never catch it. Come on, spin it, spin it around, come on. Let's make this happen, Captain. Come on. See what I mean? See what I mean? See how difficult it is? Those logs are stopping it there. I wonder, this is the last thing I built. Can I, can I rebuild it over here? Please, please and thank you. Oh, it killed me, man. <sighs> and that should have the anchor on already and we can't move that. So then we'll leave that right there and we'll come back right here. I left the rear end right there. So let's try and build the middle end right here. Hopefully that doesn't collide with anything. Okay, okay, yep, we can do this, we can do this. Okay, let's go like this. All right, nice and easy. Just like that, hang on. Let's bring the sails down, that will definitely help. Let's get to the front here, connect our magnets. This world is so strange and different, this planet. All right, so here we go with the rear end. We'll turn off our anchor. Attempt to connect. Right, spin it right round. There you go, there you go. We might actually do this, folks, here we go. Can I get a drum roll, please? Oh, hey, hey, settle down, settle down. All right, line it up, line it up, line it up. Ooh, look at that. Now I need to jump down here. Hit period. We're locked. Locked and loaded, folks. This is it, first time it's been done. By me, with this ship. So we'll jump in here. No, not in there. Over here. No, not that one. This one. Turn our anchor off. Let's get to the front, turn the anchor off, and get out to the waves. Let's see what this puppy can do. Here, anchor off. Should start drifting. Get to the captain's chair here. And away we go, let's open them sails, and let's make it happen, Captain. I don't have much of a rudder for steering, so the wind could actually end up being a bad thing. He's still doing a steady uh, 40, 44, 45, 46, blistering pace, 47. Oh, see, there's some big waves, that's what we want. Come on, bring it on. Come get some. I came to ride waves and to bubblegum. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Buddy. Alright, bring it. Come on. Come on. Let's uh, maybe take down the sails. Let's 
Come on, where's the big waves, man? Where's the big waves? See, I can't even zoom back any further, man. That's that's the whole thing. That's the whole screen, man. Can't go back any further, man, unless I change the whole camera and then I'm not control the ship no more, man. It's too difficult. Here come the big waves. Say hello to my little friend. Come on, come on, turn, turn, turn. Let's puncture this sucker head on. Up we go, up we go. Keep trying to zoom out, but I can't. Oh, look at that. Just slices right through the wave. It's like Titanic, man. Whoa. that and she recovers I'm going to uh, attempt to not die on this wave Wow impressive impressive I must say myself it's impressive it's a big ship cool all right guys Thanks once again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.